I want you to have my share. I swear to fucking Christ. Well, I don't want your fucking share. I don't want that kid telling people in English or squarehead or drawing pictures in this shit with twigs about how it wasn't Indians that killed their people, but what? <laughs> this camp could be up for grabs. Now, God knows what these cocksuckers are up to, Hickok, and the rest. But what I'm going to have to do about it, just when I need to keep my head clear, you give me these bags of shit to hold. I should cut your fucking throat. Uh, Please don't cut my throat. Let me help you straighten this up. They butt into other people's business and make the business of others their own. These bought out, no good cocksuckers. What Hickok you talking about? Oh, fucking big shot that he is. Big fucking shot when he's standing in front of you. One in his ear from behind. I'd like to see how fucking tough he was. That's right. Cocksucker. Anyway, rest his soul. That's all. Condolences, Tom. He's gone, Johnny. I don't think you ever did meet him. Uh, no. Doc's here. Fuck Hickok. And what he did to your poor fucking brother, huh? Yeah, uh, Tom's ready, Al, but he's awful drunk. I, I don't trust him to pull it off. In a bank job. He walks up to the cocksucker and puts one in his ear. He keeps running that mouth like he is. Hickok ain't gonna let him get close enough. Who in fuck is it? Them hardware guys are asking for you downstairs, Al. Tell him I'll be fucking down. Pour coffee down, Tom, because he is going out tonight to murder that son of a bitch. Where do you and me stand? All right. You got Trixie all distressed. She wanted to give you a ride. A thousand now. If anyone in that tent or the building we put up turns a playing card or pours a drink or offers a woman's services, you get title back and keep our fucking money. What makes you talk to me in that tone of voice? I'm making a counteroffer. You come into camp, rent my lot. Within six hours, you point on a guy's eye with Wild Bill Hickok back in your play. Next day, I'm supposed to sell you the lot, put you in business without asking who the fuck you are or what the fuck you're doing here? As far as what happened in the street, with Bill Hickok being involved, that was a turn of events. A what? It was a turn of events. Oh, a turn of events. Your partner calls it a coincidence. So what with this coincidence and turn of events staring me in the fucking face and five other fucking things I'm supposed to be paying attention to, I still make you a sensible proposal and you answer by insulting me in my own joint. So that didn't mean you insulting you, Mr. You Ford. stay out of this. You don't know nothing about this. You weren't here and you don't have his proxy. So why don't you do whatever you people do when you're not running your mouths off or cheating people out of what they earn by Christian work? You don't want to be talking that way. Oh, don't tell me how to talk in my own fucking place. And here's my counteroffer to your counteroffer. Go fuck yourself. Sir. Get him away from me. Mister. The best bath and blowjob you ever had is not 12 steps up them stairs. <laughs> 